Hello everyone, it is me, Newbie1234 or Indie D200, and welcome back to how to make a FNAF style game on Scratch. Um, it's been a while, yes. Um, I'm planning on maybe doing these videos like once or twice a month. Um, but that's all, really. Just once or twice a month. Um, so, yeah. Stop asking. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so let's just cut to the chase. We're doing jump scares today, but we're not actually doing the, the uh, code for the jump scares. We're doing the animation for the jump scares. So if you want to have a little bit of help with your jump scares, then follow this kind of tutorial and then see if you can maybe try and do the same with all your others. So I'm going to um, go to uh, cameras and what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to go to Eddie poses. I'm going to take this. So I'm going to... So make sure to be on the this thing here and then... Make sure to get this all around your character. Press copy, and then you're gonna go to uh, Sprite Eight for me. I'll rename it to Jump Scares, and you're gonna paste it here. So let me just rename that to Jump Scares really quickly. Okay, here we go. So Jump Scares. So now we have the kind of base of the bread and butter or whatever. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna make him angry. So I'm gonna put some angry lines on his. Uh, eyes. So we're just gonna make him angry. He's an angry boy. He's 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 very angry. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. Now that we've got like the kind of facial expression, well, sort of the facial expression. If you want to make your uh, if you want to make your like angry eyes look nicer, you could copy and paste them and then flip them horizontally, and then they would look something like that, but better than mine. Whatever. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new mouth. So I'm going to get rid of this mouth. I'm going to get the circle. I'm going to make sure to fill it with whatever colour you want and outline it with whatever colour you want. However, whatever thickness, I don't care. Do it whatever. And I'm going to do a circle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it like somewhere around here. So about here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this uh, thing here. I don't know what it is, but like what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this dot here and I'm gonna do that and now it looks like he's about to get you ah so yeah there's that okay so now what we're gonna do because we're doing a jump scare animation let's make it so that he's uh j jumping at you I guess so I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna um oh this is gonna be difficult <laughs> I'm gonna make it so that his arms are starting to come out a bit Uh, so kind of like that, and then it's gonna look like his head. Let's make it so like his head gets bigger, because you know he's going towards you, I guess. So that should look okay. Yeah, that looks all right. That doesn't look bad. Um, I guess he could be like screaming in your face or something. Yeah, let's do that. So let's have him like scream in your face. Never mind. Uh, if you want to do like. A jumping animation. I'll see what I could do next episode because you know I'm gonna continue this in the next one because I'm not gonna get it all done in this one. Don't have enough time, but whatever. Um. Okay. So yeah, let's make it so that he's screaming in your face. Let's, let's do that. Okay. So now we're gonna uh, make the head big again. That should be big enough. His head is so weird. What did I do to you, Eddie? Oh dear. Anyway, you can, like, maybe change the arms a bit. So basically it could be kind of like he's starting to raise his arms a bit. And you can make his head bigger again. I don't mind. You can do whatever. It's fine by me. This is your... This is your, uh... Scratch project, so you can do it however you want. I'm fine with it. Okay, um... Yeah, that looks fine. So then let's make the arms bigger again. Gonna make it so like no, my animation is not the best, but it's okay because you know I'm sure yours would look much better. Um, so yeah, that should look okay. Yeah, that looks fine. So now I'm gonna I'm just gonna make his arms kind of raise up a bit more. So I'm just gonna do the arms for now. That should be okay. So then you just wanna kind of raise the arms up a little bit. So, just kind of, like, make it so that, you know, he's 
looks like he's raising his arms, he's like screaming, like, ah! You know, kind of like that. So, like, I'll just keep it on camera so you can see how I'm doing it if you want to do it in the same way. Um, so, let me just do this. Also, in the comments, if you want to have, like, some kind of template sprite for jump scares, let me know. And in the next part, I will, um, put some templates in the description for you to use if you would like to. Uh, you don't have to credit me for them, it's fine. You don't, all the stuff that you've used that I've given you templates for, there's no need to credit. Um, I, I don't care, you, you don't need to credit at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Copyright free. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should be enough. I might do his arms a bit longer, so it's like he's flailing his arms in the air. I don't know if that's a British word or not. Probably is. Uh, but whatever, I guess. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, maybe one more, I'd say. I'm gonna do one more. So... And yeah, that's what it should look like. If you want it to look like that, you can make it look completely different. You can make him, like, get right in your face. Which is what we are going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom him in a bit more. So let's get him in the centre for each one. So for each one that we do, make sure to uh, get him in the centre. And um, then we can make him kind of bigger so that he looks like he's like starting to get in your face and everything, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, I'll be right back. So you know what you got to do, just do this for each one you have, for each costume. Okay, so once you finally have all of them in the centre, what you can do, you can make them bigger. So we can make them bigger if you want. And, yep, yeah, just keep putting them in the centre, I guess. Just make them bigger, that's all, really. Just make them bigger by each one. And he could be in your face and everything. It could be terrifying. So, if you want to do it like he's kind of turning while he's getting bigger, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to make him turn, and he's just going to be screaming in your face. He is angry at you. He's an angry boy. He's, a, he's, a, he's an angry boy, If for your information. So, now I'm just going to make it so that he's just turning. I think that's bigger. Yeah, it is. All right. So, I'll just turn it a bit more. I think now what I'll do, I might get rid of these costumes here so it can be a bit more accurate. So what I'll do, I'll get rid of these costumes and redo them. So then it can be a bit more accurate and he could be shaking in your face and everything so it looks a little better. So I'll like make him like shaking a bit and then his arms are just going up. So kind of like redo it and have him shaking and everything if that makes sense. Um, I will show you the animation after I've finished. Now, if you have a background like I do at the moment and you want to, like, you know, make sure you can see the animation, do a white background. And basically what you're going to do, you're going to do this square, uh, white background, back button, copy, and you're just going to keep pasting on all the costumes just like this. So all the time like this and everything. Okay, so let's see it. So what we're going to do... Oh, look, it's all in front. So now what you're going to do, you're just going to keep pressing the back button and everything. And you should be fine. So just keep pressing the back button. Just like that. Okay, so the code we're going to use to test this out is... is um, so we're just going to get... Switch costume to costume 1. Repeat how many costumes there are. For mine, it's 7. So repeat 7. Wait, 0 0.01 seconds next costume. So, let's see how that looks. Okay, so, you know, it's quite, it was quite quick, but it's alright, it doesn't matter. So, he just gets in your face and everything. Awesome. It looks great. So, I have an, I have an announcement to make. Um... As soon as this video is dropped, I am releasing a pre-alpha. This game, what I've done so far, is being released as a pre-alpha, so you can play what I've done so far. It will be in the description if you want to play it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.